On this week's Essential API of the Week, we take a look at App Info, giving you the ability to check app information, bundle identifiers, and more with just a few lines of code. So tune in. Welcome back to Essential API of the Week. Today we're going to take a look at the App Info API. This is really nice in different scenarios where you need to get access to maybe the bundle identifier of your app or the version information. For instance, you want to create an about screen so when your users send in a bug report if they have to, they can actually tell you what build number or version number is visible without even leaving your application. Or you can report that back to your analytics server, for instance, which would be really nifty. So let's hop over and take a look at how to integrate this. So let's get started by going directly into our documentation. Now, I like to go on the Get Started with Xamarin Essentials because it gives you everything you need from platform support, NuGet installation, and any additional setup that you may need, including this uh, Android setup code for permission and initialization. Now, what I love, though, is that access to all the documentation for every API is on the left-hand side, and of course, there's App Info. So on App Info, just like the getting started of every single API inside of Xamarin Essentials, tells you if there's any additional setup needed or how to immediately access and obtain access to those APIs. So here are some cool ones. For instance, I can get access to the app name, package name, version string, and even build identifier. And I can even launch the application settings page. Now what's also nice here is that will tell you uh, if there's any platform implementation defaults or what it's actually returning. And of course, you can browse the source code on GitHub. So let's go ahead and integrate this into an app really quick. Over here, I have a simple application where we're going to kind of create an about page for our app. So the first thing that I've done is I've, of course, installed uh, Xamarin Essentials into my Android, iOS, and .NET standard um, library. Here I'm using Xamarin Forms for my UI, but you don't have to. You can build any iOS, Android, or Windows app. I've initialized Xamarin Essentials and also the additional setup code for Android, which is nice. Now every single thing else that I'm going to write is inside of my shared code in this App Info page. I have two labels, one for App Info and version information that I may want to display to my user. And now all I need to do is set up the code behind. So over here, I'm going to come in. To zoom in a little bit, I can come in and say using xamarin.essentials to get the namespace in. Now I can simply type app info as it's a single namespace for all of those and get access to all those APIs. So there's build string, name of the application, package name, version, and version string. So let's go ahead and assign some of these. So I'll say label app info.text. And let's go ahead and say that will equal the app info.name of my app. And then uh, down here, we can say label version info.text. And we'll put that out to, um, let's say, app info.version string, which is going to give me 1.0.0. But then I'll also do another one here for. Uh, the bundle uh, build ID, for instance. So here's app info dot build string. So that's unique because that's going to be auto incrementing every single time. So literally just with those few attributes, I have access to all my app info. Now what we should see is inside of iOS, these attributes are coming from my info plist, so my application name, version, and build. And for Android, that's going to come from my Android manifest file. So let's go ahead and debug this application and see what we get. All right, so now our application is launched for both iOS and Android. In the sample app, I can kind of bring in different sections of my app. So here's that app info page. So here we can see it's bringing in uh, my app info. And we're outputting 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, and 1, and the name of the application with just a few lines of code coming from Xamarin Essentials. And there you have it. We just integrated app information into the sample application in just a few lines of code. You can find links to all of the documentation in the show notes below. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or Channel 9 for more Essential API of the Week. Thanks for watching.